Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and as promised, it's not a tutorial. I know and I think I'm not doing a tutorial for a couple more videos. So are you guys proud of me? Are you proud? Today's video is going to be my top 10 favorite eyeshadow palettes ever and I am including things that are limited edition in this video. I only think there's two that you can't get right now but I'm doing that because I wanted to keep it as realistic as possible. I didn't want to include things that are really not in my top 10. I wanted to show you guys like my raw top 10 favorite shadow palettes. So if you happen to have these two that you cannot get right now in your collection just know they're my favorites. I figured this is a good time to do this video because we are coming up on holiday season and some of these palettes I feel like would be really good gifts for somebody who is like a makeup lover in your life. So I feel like this is a good time to do that. So if you guys are interested to see my top 10 favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time that I've ever tried, then please just keep on watching. I'm not going to go in any type of order with these palettes just because I tried to put them in an order and it like really stressed me out. So I'm just going to grab whatever's in front of me and just talk about it. So the first thing that I'm grabbing is the Elsie Minimalist palette. This is what it looks like right here. It's so tiny and compact. This is what the inside looks like. It only has five shades in it. This is a little bit more on the pricey side. I think you get five shades and it's around $45 which is like that's a lot of dollars but I do really enjoy this palette I feel like this is perfect for anybody who just basically does like a neutral eye every single day you can do such neutral looks with this and you can even pair this with like let's say like a metallic palette like maybe that new Urban Decay palette that came out or like the girls palette by Desi and Katie this is like a really good palette to pair with any of those kind of palettes because you have like your basic shades that you would need for every single look. Plus you have a really nice mirror as well. So I feel like this for any basic looks, this is just like an essential palette. Like everybody needs this in their collection and I really enjoy it. The next palette that I'm grabbing is actually one of the ones that you cannot get anymore. However, you can, I believe, get the majority of these shadows in singles. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette or the World Traveler Palette. It has two names. I call it the Shadow Couture, but you know, call it whatever you want. Out of all of the palettes that Anastasia has put out, other than the next one that I'm gonna talk about, this is my most you actually i think even including the next one that i'm going to talk about this is my most used palette which is saying a lot this is what the inside looks like right here my most used shades are uh morocco fudge soft peach noir of course you guys already know i believe every single shade that i just mentioned is permanent i don't think heirloom is permanent azure i don't think is permanent spoiled i don't think is permanent chic i don't think is permanent i love this because i feel like you can do so many different looks with this and you have all your essential shades in here as well you've got all your neutrals but then you've got a whole bunch of pops of color and they're very different in my opinion like heirloom you don't see a lot of purple shades like that this is what it looks like it's like a super dark purple with glitter in it azure is like a beautiful deep blue shade which all over the lid is stunning i've been so into those blue shades lately you guys know I've, I've worn them a couple times i love this palette so much i wish it was permanent but if you had this in your collection just to know that you have a gem sticking with anastasia beverly hills of course i cannot do this video without mentioning the modern renaissance palette i love this palette i know that like 90 percent of people love this palette because it's such a gorgeous palette on the inside you get 14 shades and they're all pretty warm and of course the only thing i think this is missing is a matte black we know this this palette is definitely a staple and i think if you don't have this in your collection you need to go pick it up immediately like anybody can do so many different looks with this it looks really scary i feel like when you look at it you're like oh my god that's a lot of pink that's like so warm but you don't have to do like this super intense like orange eye if you look at the colors like raw sienna is a beautiful transition you could use that you can use cypress umber which is just a super dark brown and you've got like a simple look right there if you wanted to do something pink you could definitely use these colors and it would just turn out amazing i love this and the consistency of honestly Beverly Hills shadows I would say is my second favorite second favorite yeah my second favorite eyeshadow formula of all time with Viseart being the only one above it so 
I'm just saying. The next palette that I want to talk about is the Shade and Light Eye Palette by Kat Von D. This has all matte eyeshadows in it, which I do prefer matte eyeshadows in palettes. You will not hear me talk about any palette that only contains like metallic eyeshadows today. That's just not the kind of thing that I gravitate towards. This palette, I... I love it so much because you have your warm shades, you have your neutral shades, you have your light shades, you have your dark shades, you have your cool shades, you have everything you could possibly need right here. I feel like this is kind of like an extended version of the Minimalist palette just because you have a lot more options in here but it's kind of the same basic idea. So I would say if you wanted to pick one up, this one would probably be the one that I would pick up because I think it's around the same price and you get a whole lot more shades. But if you're somebody who's really into just like having a really small, compact palette to travel with, The Minimalist is definitely the way to go. Fifth palette that I want to talk about is one that is limited edition but it is available right now. So this is the Dose of Colors Hidden Treasures palette. I, I love this palette so much so much. I use this palette really really often and the reason is because of the metallic shades in here. They are stunning and like my eyeshadow is broken. Can you see it? It's like in the crease there. I'm so nervous. This is what the palette looks like right here. You've got your matte black in here. You've got your transition shade which is on the warm side which I appreciate because I love warm eyeshadows as do most people and you've got these stunning like I don't even know like foil metallic goodness they are so gorgeous and I love the shades that they chose to make in this metallic formula this color ruby is everything to me I love coppers on my eyes I feel like it just it works really well with my skin tone so I love that color the color coin is like the most beautiful golden oh my god look at this look at this look at this oh I had brown on that finger that's awkward I think this is incredible especially for holiday season because it's only back for the holiday season this would be an amazing amazing gift i know a lot of people don't really like the layout of this because it's like scattered all over the place but i'm pretty sure it's like that because it's supposed to be like a treasure map kind of a thing i mean it would have been cool if they would have made like a little treasure path between the eyeshadows but that's okay i get what you were i get what you were doing i love this palette regardless the only thing that i find a little bit off about this palette is the color map it's like a cool tone transition color and I feel like it's kind of random because none of the other colors are cool tone. Everything else is pretty much warm tone other than the matte black. So I don't I don't really get what the point of that was. I feel like that was a little like a little random. Um, I would have preferred if they would have put like a warmer transition color. Like something a little bit more like Sienna by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I would have preferred that but it's okay. I'm very happy. I like it. The next palette that I want to talk about is one that I use all the time and I feel like looking at it it's like how do you use that all the time but I promise it's definitely very user friendly. This is the Viseart 04 Dark Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I love Viseart so much. They make my absolute favorite matte formula of all time. I just find that they are so creamy, so blendable, so pigmented and like I just I don't think anything is like this. So this palette I love because of course these warm shades are right here and then on top of that you've got your like purple shades your deeper browns you've got like dark blues in here you've got so much going on in here I reach for this palette all the time to deepen up a whole bunch of looks I sometimes only use these three reddish orange-ish shades for a look and it turns out beautiful actually I used this palette in my last tutorial which I will link down below of course I think the reason that I love it so much is because it's a palette full of 12 deepening up shades and like that's all I want out of life is dark shades for my crease for my outer V that's like all I need so I love this one and the formula is so good it is definitely on the pricey side I think it's $80 for this palette but if you break down like how much you're getting and all that stuff it's really it's not that much the seventh palette that I want to talk about is another one that is limited edition I don't believe you can get it anymore if you can I will link it in the description box I feel like it's possible you might be able to because I feel like Makeup Geek keeps their palettes for like a long time. This is the Makeup Geek and Manny MUA eyeshadow palette. I love this palette and I feel like it's such a random one to include in here. Like you wouldn't look at this palette and think that I would include this in like my top 10 favorites. 
but it's definitely one of my top 10 favorites. The reason that I love this so much is because you can create so many different looks with this palette. When it first came out, everybody was putting out tutorials with it, and I felt like every one was so different from the next. I'll link the tutorial that I filmed with this below, and I loved the look that came out with this. I was, I was just so happy with it. Makeup Geek makes amazing eyeshadows in general. I have like a crap ton of their singles because they're so good and they're so inexpensive. And I just feel like this palette is like, it's so different. Like it has such different shades. Like you have this intense brick red. You have this beautiful like blue duochrome color. And you just have so much going on, but they coordinate together so well. So I love this. If it is still for sale, I would say it's an amazing gift. But if not, if you have it, whip it out of your collection and just keep using it because it's amazing. We only have three eyeshadow palettes left. So the next one that I want to talk about is definitely newer to my collection, but it quickly became one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes ever obviously that's why it's in this video this is the harmony palette by creative soul cosmetics first of all this packaging makes me so happy my logo has marble on it so like this just this just makes me so happy this palette is definitely not spoken about enough i haven't heard really anybody talk about it i found this brand on instagram and i am so happy that i did this is what the palette looks like on the inside i was debating getting either this or the laura lee los angeles palette and obviously i ended up getting both of them but i definitely prefer this so if you're thinking about getting that one actually i think that one sold out I think this one is way better than that one. I like the color selection more. It's very similar, but this one is definitely a lot warmer and I feel like you get a lot more shades in here and you get better formula in this. You get a better formula in this palette as opposed to the other palette. You can definitely do like any type of look that you want to do with this. I use this in my Rihanna inspired makeup look. I'll link it down below. But you have your warm shades in here, you've got your dark shades in here, you've got these amazing shades up here. The colors bronzed, champagne, and golden are incredible. Okay, ready? Just wait for it. I'm going to swatch golden for you and you're going to pass out. What? They are so glittery and so intense, so metallic. They show up so wet on your lid. I... I love those. I love those so much. I will say that the shadows are very soft, so I would not recommend traveling with this at all. I think it would definitely shatter the shadows. Shatter the shadows. Say that three times fast. Shatter the shadows. Shatter the Yeah, you can't do it. But I do recommend this for like everyday use. I love it. So the next one that I want to talk about is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This palette is so good. So this is what the palette looks like on the inside. Um, this does not... Actually, they've changed the packaging. No, actually, this still doesn't come on the inside. This is just a card that came with my palette. I just put it on here. It's taped. It's glued. It's not going anywhere. This just has all the shade names in it. But this is what the palette looks like on the inside. I love this palette so much. And now that it's permanent and now that it's at Ulta, this is the perfect time for you guys for you guys to go pick it up. If I could speak, that would be really great. This palette has so many warm shades. You've got transitions, you've got deepening up shades, you've got pops of color, which the formula on these, like this blue shade I use for my tutorial, which I will link my tutorial and a get ready with me that I filmed with this palette down below. The formula on these, it's just incredible. It's unlike any of the Morphe eyeshadows that I've tried before this. So if you've tried Morphe and you're like, I don't, I don't really know because it's not the best, this is, it's really different. I can honestly say the, the formula on this is way different. The mattes are super pigmented, super creamy, super buttery. These metallic shades are just, they are just, I'm just, I'm just watch the blue, I can't. Come on. I feel like you can create so many different looks with this. If you look up Jaclyn Hill palette tutorial, you will see like 70 trillion different looks with this palette that don't look like one another so i i think this is so worth it also i want to mention the color and light which is the first color in the palette is my favorite brow bone highlight of all time i'm not wearing it right now but it's it's amazing and finally the last palette that i want to talk about i'm gonna i'm gonna ask you to pause this video um and guess it because if you know me you know you know, it's not even a question. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time. This is the Tarte Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette. I love this freaking palette. I've spoken about this palette so many times on my channel. You guys are probably like, enough. But seriously, this is what the inside looks like. You can see it's such a hot 
mess. I don't know if you can see it actually, but it's such a hot mess. You've got all your light shades here. You've got warm shades. You've got more mauve tones. You've got more red tones. You've got more cool neutral tones. You've got so much. And then of course you've got your pops. This mirror is so dirty, please. Just excuse me. You've got your pops of shimmer right over here. You can create so many different looks with this. I am wearing this on my eyes today. Um, not for my lid color, but everything else is from this palette. And I just think it is so perfect. I think anybody could pick this up and be so happy with this purchase. When I travel, this is the only palette that I take with me. And that's saying a lot because I'm like, if you know me, eyeshadow is so important to me. So only taking one palette and being happy. I've never been like, oh my God, I wish I had something else. Never. This is just perfect it is so perfect yes, that is it for my top 10 favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it don't forget to subscribe if you're not already don't forget to follow me on instagram and snapchat that's just the katie danger i'll link it down below as well let me know what are your favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time if i mentioned some of your favorite eyeshadow palettes let me know let me know if you guys like these if you don't like these palettes let me know as well everybody has different tastes of course i would not take offense if you don't like my top 10 palettes i think that's all i have to say so i'll see you guys in my next video bye hi friends welcome back so today i'm bringing you guys another video and like i promised it's not going to be a tutorial this is going to be 